He's the man who's going to educate us on everything that's happening around the NHL, including some controversy. Ooh. Somebody caught a cross-check right to the mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, this man played in the NHL for... 14 years. Stud. Friend of the program, P.K. Saban. Yeah, P.K. Yes. All right, here we go. Whoa. Top boys. Are we getting back in the league, Kevin, huh? Are we taking care of the body? Hart show? Yeah, what's going it's on? It's taking care of the body. Today's just the maintenance day. Box today. Worked out this morning. I always finish off my work day with a nice Epsom salt bath. So this is where I'm at right now. Okay, yeah, it appears. Yep, you definitely are. You definitely I are. I got some candles. I got some candles lit, too. I got oh. a couple candles in here. It's just a decompression. Okay. Decompression. Is that, it's hot Epsom salt, obviously, right? You wouldn't put Epsom salt in a yeah. cold tub. No, nope, it would be hot. It's warm, you know. With all the, uh, uh, the, you know, my body being banged up from playing and all, it's better warm. I always find the warm therapy helps my body out a lot, especially the hips. I got to keep the hips loose now, Pat. Right? Yeah. So of course, especially with life, with right. what you're doing now, got to keep the hips. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like Kevin Hart, you know, because it's hot. Mm -hmm. AJ, you said it was uh, cold. It's a yeah, hot it tub, opposite. clearly. AJ. Cold tub show. You're right. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, it's hot as balls. not cold as balls. Yeah. There's some green alcohol in there, too. What, in the... Uh, oh, in the hot tub. Epsom green? Salt, green alcohol. Really? This green. is what I Green use. or green? Look green. at this, Pat. Green? I, I'm not getting paid for this, so I don't know. I'm not getting paid for this, but this is the Epsom salt. Okay. Yeah, it's too foggy. And then I got... Look at this. I got my gallon aminos here. Like, I'm dialed in, Pat. Holy hell. Dialed right in. Is this life? Yeah. You, you, you do this every... You're like a Breca guy? Every day. Every day I'm up, 6 a.m., I'm in the gym. I lift. Uh, I either walk on the treadmill for an hour, four and a half miles. I, I box, and then I get a massage, and then it's Epsom salt bath. Then you, I get everything else done. You get a yep, massage every day, every day of your every life. Day? Six days, six days a week. Yep. Jeez, wow. that's awesome. That's awesome. Good for you. Crazy. You want to talk about taking care of the body? Come see me. Yeah, and the mentals and the chickens. Mm -hmm. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. Six days a week getting a massage. Incredible. That is same yeah. person, same masseuse. Same masseuse. I don't change. Actually, I had a big transition because uh, Yoshi was a name. She was my massage therapist my last three years when I played. Had her for four years. She retired at fifty. Uh, God bless her. She was amazing. Um, she was like a life coach, massage therapist, all in one. She was awesome. Wow. So I ended up getting a new one. She's great too. So I see her every day. She's awesome. Takes care of me. I'm good to go. Hey, hell of a run by Yoshi. Yoshi. Well, Got to miss you, Yoshi. Congratulations, Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi, yep. Yoshi had a hell of a run. Uh, mm -hmm. Seriously. He did. The game's going to miss her. And congrats to the new massage therapist getting work six days a week yeah. from one person. Wow. That's phenomenal. PK, you getting back on the ice? Is that the thought or is this just for life? Absolutely not. Um, not getting back on the ice. I've been on the ice twice since I retired. And it was for the All-Star game. I've only put my skates on. I haven't even put my gear on. Uh, a part of that is because the first alumni game that I play in, okay. I want to make sure that I can talk as much trash to everybody that I'm playing against to let them know that this is the first time I put my gear on and I'll be exposing everybody on the ice. So I think there's – is there like a period – of time, like you got to go a couple years before you're allowed to play an alumni game, or can you go right into it? Well, I don't know the rules, obviously. I'm just learning the alumni game as we have this conversation. Are you in better shape now than you were when you were playing? Obviously, yes, right? Different shape, different shape. I'm definitely stronger, I think. Um, you know, just hockey, you got to be leader, right? Like it's 82 games. As much as you got to be strong and explosive, you got to be able to last, right? So this guy's now I'm in the gym. six days a week. This guy's getting massage yeah. six days. Waking a up week. at six. How long? To work An out. hour long. We do ninety minutes. So ninety minutes. Ninety Jeez. minutes for my tissue. My tissue is way Jeez. too dense. Too much. I need okay. ninety minutes. And if I don't soak, if I don't get the Epsom salt bath, there's no soak. way anybody's getting into my tissue. Yeah, not gonna happen. Of course, you got to keep those things pliable. Yeah. You know, you got to keep yeah. those t that tissue pliable. Um, Man, I have so many questions about how we got to this point. But, like, <laughs> let's talk about hockey because hockey is awesome. Hockey has afforded you the opportunity to get a massage six days a week mm -hmm. as a retired player. You're living good. You deserve it all. PK, how about the cross-check to the mouth after a clapper on an empty net? Now, uh, Reeves came out and obviously said this younger generation is playing a different sport pretty much than what hockey actually is. This was just a guaranteed reaction from somebody if it was to take place. And why did that other guy either do it or not expect it? What the hell is going on with hockey? 
Well, I'm so happy you helped me. Be, uh, ask me this because I want to get right into it. And here's what I think. First and foremost, let's talk about the player. So it, to what Ryan Reeves said, I have to agree with it to a certain extent that the game has changed. The culture has changed. Like, if I would have done that my first year in the league, oh, my goodness, against Boston or something like that, guys would have probably been over the bench. Like, guys would have jumped the bench. I would have been jumped for sure. There would have been purple drink all over the ice. It wouldn't have been good. Like, honestly, it wouldn't have been good at all. For this kid, it's a different game now. Nobody does that. But if you're Morgan Riley, this is what I'm going to say. First and foremost, if you don't want anybody doing anything like that, and it's the same thing that I've said about the World Juniors, when everybody was giving it to Team USA about their celebrating. If you don't want guys to celebrate, you don't want guys to get in the kitchen and stir the pot, well, you're the Toronto Maple Leafs. You guys got how many guys making 12 million bucks a year? You guys are supposed to be a cup contending team. Don't let Ottawa tuck you in when you're fighting for your playoff spot. You're in a wild card race right now. Don't let Ottawa tuck you in. And Ottawa is letting you know it's the Battle of Ontario. Yeah, there's no respect on the ice. So I'm not surprised by what happened. I actually love that he took the opportunity to get in their kitchens. For Morgan Riley, I love the reaction. You got to react. But if you cross-check somebody in the head, you're getting suspended. Like, you can't do that in today's game. So, to me, I'm actually on both sides of it. I love what Ottawa did to get in the kitchens. I love the response from Toronto. You just can't cross-check somebody in the head. Just grab them, drop your gloves, beat the piss out of them, and then let it be. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's what it should be. Yeah, there's different levels to punishment, I guess, on the ice from the boys, especially for... Over the years. Oh, I would have jumped him for sure, though. He would have been jumped for sure. Okay, all right. So, PK says, yeah. love that you had the moxie mm -hmm. to do it, okay? And if you don't want to dance and don't let us in the end zone, that is literally a uh, big time. Oh, well, what would have made it even better is if the kid would have stuck his tongue out at Morgan Bradley as he skated by him just to double down on it and let him know he's getting in this kitchen. Because think about it. You wind up and take a slap shot on an empty net. Like, obviously, he's not scared of anybody on that team. Like, that's what's crazy, right? Like, if I'm playing against Boston, who's got Chara, Lucci, what? Gregory Campbell, Benoit Puglia, Sean Thornton, Zdeno Chara, Zach Boy uh, uh, Johnny Boychuk, McQuaid. Like, you got these killers. Swing. Na uh, Nathan Horton, you know, Mark Recchi at the top. Like, Jerome McGinley. Like, all those guys were on the same team. Dude, one of those guys is getting to me, and if one of them doesn't get to me, they're probably sharing the meat because they all want to pound the flesh for that. Hey, no one's standing hey. for that. Sharing but I meat. loved it. Yeah, I loved the fact. Meat. Oh, oh share the I meat. was so pumped. Not that Drake. So pumped. Share the meat. Share the yeah, meat. Yeah, so, 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 so it, it, in all seriousness, I, Toronto's got to respond there, but I think that that is a sign of the respect of what players are given the Toronto Maple Leafs right now. Like, the Toronto Maple Leafs got to earn more respect than that, I think, with how they play the game. Because that isn't so much about whether you have skill or talent or how good you are. It's about respecting your opponent and the way that you play. And I think that in, within, that's the game within the game. I, I didn't, Unfortunately, I didn't watch that game, but I know battles, I know rivalry games. And playing for Montreal, Ottawa, in that Toronto bubble, it's those are heated rivalries. So this is all expected. And if you don't expect that, then that's the type of response that you're going to get, right? You got to expect that people are going to try to get in the kitchen. Yeah, we love everybody that's traveling in and out of the kitchen. Yep. We yeah. like everybody trying to take a trip in there. Dogs. We like to answer. We like to respond. But you don't want them dancing. Don't let them score. Go ahead, AJ. PK, would, uh, wouldn't you have been more worried if Toronto did not respond? I know the cross check to the head, that's not – you don't want to do that. But if Toronto just let them go, let them go on their way and finish the game, that would be a bigger worry, wouldn't it? Well, if you want to talk about worried, if I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, I'd just be worried about seeing that Florida Panthers team again because I'm going to tell you, if you guys think that's crazy, what's going to happen when you play Florida in the playoffs mm -hmm. is going to be 10 yep. times worse than that. Those mm -hmm. guys are pulling you into the alleyways. They're going to make it a dogfight. And by the way, you don't think they got skill? They got a 39 goal scorer in, in Sam Reinhardt on that team. They got Kachuk. They got for Swaggy, Carter yeah. for Hagee, who could put the puck in the net. For so they Swaggy. Got skill. Uh, ooh, That's that what I'm talking right, about. So, 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 yes, you know, Toronto's got to respond, but, you know, they got to get used to this happening. Like, this is going to happen more. It ain't going away. 
And, you know, you can expect Ryan Reeves to go out there and set the tone, but there's got to be team toughness too. Guys got to have each other's backs. And I think if you're a Leafs fan, there's a bright spot to that. To see Morgan Riley get fired up, it's okay. You lose him for a game, but that will that should galvanize their group to rally around this and say, hey, boys, we're not going to take this disrespect. We're going to run up the score on teams. We're going to let them know okay. that they can't disrespect us, okay. whether we're in our barn or not. Yeah, we're going to start sharing the meat. You know, we're going to oh, be Oh, yeah. 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 50 50. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, that shit, like if that was me, if I was Morgan Riley, yeah. my gloves would have been off. Like in my time, you got to drop your gloves there. Yeah. I would have dropped my gloves and grabbed them. But I'm, I'm a different player than Morgan, right? I'm not saying that he wouldn't drop his gloves. I'm just saying I would have. But guaranteed next game, and I can say this now, I'm not playing. Oh, that kid, if he ever came down my side the next game, oh. he'd be getting a two-hander. Mm-hmm. Like, that kid would never be able to come down my side, probably for the rest of his career. Like, I'd be giving it to him. For the rest every of his career. Yeah, I yeah. love everything I, about I hold grudges on that. I don't take well to disrespect. Well, so, that's kind of hockey. Yeah. That's what the, I think the history of hockey is. That's why it's such a big deal. Speaking of hot hockey, yeah. d has got a question Man, for Panthers you. Panthers don't take much disrespect either. Just beat the shit out of the Avalanche. I know we got the pins tomorrow. Actually, but uh, are oh. are they Ooh. the league's hottest team right now? Can I expect another title run? No, we fell short last year, but can we expect another title run? Oh man, uh, and you're talking about Florida, right? Oh yeah, Florida. Panthers. Florida. I, I mean, the Devils. Okay, here's what I'll say about the East. Toronto's got to figure it out, and I think that they will. They got 30 games. There's lots of time left. They're sitting around. I think it's 60 points. They're kind of in a dog fight. <laughs> They need to get out of that dog fight for the wild card race. You know, right now you've got Philly who's ahead of them. And Philly's playing Philly's playing a better team game right now than Toronto. So is Carolina. So is the teams ahead of them. So Toronto's got to figure that out. Philly? When what? I look at, no. Oh, Philly? Philly? Yeah. Flyers? Flyers? Philly? Whoa, 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 whoa. The Philadelphia Flyers? No way. Hold on. Listen very carefully. Bronick back? Listen very carefully what I just said. <laughs> John Leclerc. John Tortorella, probably going to be coach of the year or up for it. No. Has these guys. Are you nuts? Torto? If these guys make the, uh, 100%. 100% he's in that conversation. Anybody who says that, I, I won't even sit down at a table with you and discuss hockey because you don't know what you're talking about. The what fire. this guy has done with that group in terms of their skill, talent, and youth is comparable to what. Rick Tockett's doing in Vancouver Bingo. with a lot more talent, a lot more experience, all of that stuff. So, yes, John Tortorella's in that conversation. And Philly, as much as they go through adversity, they've had a number of things happen with their team. For John Tortorella to keep them on track and keep them focused and their bounce back, he's getting great goaltending now. Out of, he's getting it out of everyone. The penalty kill, goaltending. Guys are stepping up, scoring big goals. I like the way their team is playing, and I think they're playing a better team game than Toronto. I said at the start of the year, Toronto has relied heavily on their big guns, and those guys have showed up for them. Austin Matthews getting paid $15 million bucks a year. Well, guess what? He's earned that money because every time they need a goal, Poppy shows up, and he answers the bell. Their big guys answer it. But as a team, I like Philly's team game, and I don't see them slowing down any soon. So I see Florida... Definitely coming out of the I would pick them coming out of wow. the East right now. Let's go. Can New York can New York beat them? Yes. Can Toronto beat them? Yeah. I don't think Toronto's ready to handle those those Panthers yet. Um are the Devils in that conversation? Yes, but when it comes to the lineup experience, I think Florida's coming out of the East. How's Gre- how's there. Gritty? That sleazy gritty. Is he still, still a scumbag? He is. Yeah. All right. Didn't know. Didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Flyers are good at hockey, I just learned. Wow. Me too. What is this, 1970? Holy hell. The Flyers are good at hockey? Mm. Congrats. Yeah, they they're tough. They got some toughness on that team, too. They ain't soft. And you know Torch's style, man. It's hand to hand combat. Right. You got to lay it on the line. He's got to move it in the right direction. It's a dogfight. Like, in, the NHL right now has so much parity. It's a dogfight in both conferences. The wild card race. Like, these next 30 games are going to be exciting. Every game matters. Let's go, Pence. Uh, Tongue Diggs has a question for you, PK. Yeah, PK, I had a question I'm not sure if you saw. We went to Vegas, and we, well, mostly Ty, ended the Oilers' winning streak. I don't know if you saw that or not. You're welcome. Yep, Yep, you're welcome to everyone who didn't want that streak to be broken. Uh, Are the Oilers, are they the favorite out there? Is Vegas, the the reigning cup champs, Uh, the favorite out there? How do we feel about the West? 
Okay, well, let's talk about that game. Jack Eichel didn't play. William Carrier didn't play. Theodore did not play. So what's the significance of those three players? Well, William Carrier might be their best player in their bottom six. Okay, I'll debate that, but he's been there a long time. He's got experience, plays a heavy game. Jack Eichel's their best forward. Theodore's their best defenseman. So they're missing three of their top players from that Stanley Cup run, right? And they go and they handle business against a team that won 16 straight games with the best player in the world playing at his best, who's opened up the game, scoring a goal. And I can't find fault with Edmonton's game. I thought they played great from their defense out. I even said it, Bouchard. Yeah, but with Stoner and Ty Schmidt. No chance. Stoner and Ty. There's no way. I mean, Ty broke the siren. Yep. Think about that. Listen to me. Vegas. He was on his Zamboni. For an entire. He had a sword. Yeah. Uh, That night beheaded another night. I saw you guys. I saw that. I saw him on the horn. How bad did you want to do the horn, though, Pat? How come you didn't get in on it? Well, it turns out I actually uh, – we told them I was doing it, and then <laughs> actually Switch Ty's going to be doing it. Uh-oh. I'm a Pens fan. He can't see me. I, I had the jacket on. They were very ah. hospitable. They were very, very nice, very, very kind. I appreciate the Golden Knights team a lot more than I appreciate the Pittsburgh Penguins team. That is <laughs> a matter of fact. If I was became a fan within the last couple of years, I would be a Golden Knights fan. But I grew up a Penguins fan, so there's no way in hell you're going to catch me. No way. Ty, though, has been a fan of the Golden Knights since the day the Knights were announced. So he might be their oldest fan, longest fan. First time in the barn, he was certainly going to, you know, crank that thing. (laughs) And he also got to ride the Zamboni. Uh Dude, he got to ride the Zamboni? (laughs) Yes, he did. Look at the hats off. Hold on, hold on. Yep. 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 Three, four, five, six, (laughs) seven, eight, (laughs) ten of them things. It's a lot of fist bumps. (laughs) Yep. Ten of them. He was hey, out there for 45 Vegas. minutes. <laughs> Vegas, Vancouver, the, the only team, Colorado, Dallas is still there, Vancouver. It's a lot, it's gonna be a lot more difficult in the Western Conference for Vegas, I think, this year than it was last year. But for them to beat Edmonton and handle Edmonton missing those three guys, you gotta think that you still gotta beat them. And the X Factor for me, Aiden Hill. Aiden oh, Hill stood on his head. Absolutely He's a dog. phenomenal in that game. And if he plays that way in the playoffs, the only goaltender that I can – listen, Thatcher Demko's great, but he's never won a cup. You know, I look at Edmonton's situation in goal, in goal. It's not the same as Aiden Hill. Even Colorado, I like Yorgiev. Yeah. He's still got to prove himself. Aiden Hill's won. And has proven himself, wow. and he's playing arguably better this year than he did last year. So stood I on still his think head. Vegas yeah. seemed to be stood yeah. on his head against Edmonton. We watched it. He was yeah. like he was kicking him. He was very. He was what? He was kicking him, kicking him, snapping the pads out. Boom, boom, boom. He was kicking him. Bang, 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 bang. Pow. Leaves you a splash of water. He's down in the water. He's down in the water. Wow. Wow. So out. warm in there. Yeah. <laughs> so steamy. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's awesome. You've glistened. You've been glistening the entire time. I, I looked at. Uh, uh, Nick sent me a standings <laughs> here for the east. Yeah. Sure. East. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Very good. I don't know. Boy, the Penguins suck. Where? Oh, I mean, what are we? Oh, yeah, no. your pens are in one a little bit. Your pens are in one a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. over. They we have to win every game. It's over. But sixteen and twenty. Yeah, it's over. They have a winning record. Twenty three nineteen. It's over. It's not fair. It's not fair. I don't want to hear anybody mention Sidney Crosby's name. Uh, you know, I, I just it's I, it sucks because I really think that as a league we need to see Pittsburgh in there. I want to see Sid in the playoffs every year. Um, he's just that good, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Like Washington, you got to watch out for Washington. Yeah. The Islanders are moving. New Jersey just gets Jack Hughes back. Took him two games. Pence. You know, he Sorry. scored his last goal sixteen. He's got a back to back game tonight. Enough. I, there's just too many teams that are competitive in front of Edmonton right now. So what happens in now? Front of Pittsburgh. Sorry. So what, what happens now? The Penguins suck. Blow it up. Then yeah, it's over. Trade Crosby to Boston. No. No. Detroit. Yeah. Trade him to Boston. No. No. It's, it's over. over. Is that what happens? Yep. It, it depends. It's over. It's, it's done. It's, over. It's, no. It'll be over. It's, it's Sidney Crosby oh, no. over. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? It's Sidney Crosby over. It's whatever Crosby wants to do.
What do you mean? What if do you mean, Sid Nick? wants them to blow it up and trade him, and he comes out and says it, they will do that. If he wants to stick around for a rebuild, they will do that. If he wants to keep going and they want to scratch and claw and throw everything they can, every future asset, every first round pick to try and stay alive, they'll do that. It's all up to Sid. It's Mario Lemieux. Yeah. Good run, Sid. Yammer Yago. Hockey Town over. Ronnie France all over. Sidney Cross. You know, over. it sucks. It oh, sucks wow. for Sid Marco because. It's over. I, I think Sid could go to another team, no. obviously, Boston. and no. win a cup. Boston. I don't think he will. I, and I don't know that. I've never asked him. I never. This is not a quote from Sid, but I just don't. I don't know. I don't think that he will go somewhere else and play. I, I, I really believe that he'll probably want to stay in Pittsburgh and figure it out there. Yeah. They do have still some pieces there. Um, you know, I really thought they were going to make a push this year. I'm not really too sure why they're in the situation that they're oh. in, but oh, they uh, yeah, it's too bad. That's why you're saying. Tristan Jari. That's exactly why. What's that? Tristan Jari. Jari. He was standing oh. on his head earlier. Tristan, Tristan Jover, you mean? Mean? I mean, you guys switch cheese. The guy's just one. not it. As long as he's been. Hey, going, if it makes you guys there. feel. And it makes you guys feel better. We might be watching the uh, some hockey in Long Island this year. I think the Islanders could make up. That doesn't make yeah. Why would that make Why me feel better? Oh, who cares? Yeah. It makes me feel better. Congrats to the Borelli family. Okay, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for the people on Long Island. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Patrick Waugh is the coach there now. Dog. Yes. Dog. I do yes. hope they have success. You were talking about how good of a player Patrick Waugh was. The weren't you, Derek? Yeah, oh. he was one. He, Slap, slapper. <laughs> he's a gold. <laughs> he's a slapper? The yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, what about his wrist? Oh, oh, he he kicked him up. He kicked him up. Are you serious? He was taking a brick wall. I got three goalies. I got three goalies. Terry Price. Dominic Hasek. Yep. Great mug. Great Buffalo Sabre. Patrick Waugh, Marty Broder, yep. those are the three for me. Uh, Tim Some Thomas, people, Eddie the Eagle, Belfort. Tim Thomas, I'm not putting Tim Thomas. Bro, Tommy Barrasso. Ed Belfort. I am so sick Tommy of leaving Barrasso. Tom Barrasso's name off of that list. I can't take you soon. Tommy Barrasso. Two cups in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. Two? Yeah. 91, allegedly, 92. allegedly, nobody really enjoyed. Allegedly, Him he was Ken not Reagan. the nicest guy. But, I mean, he... Guy can stop a puck. It's an all ball. Guys, guys, do you want a puck stop? Nice guy. You got to win one game. I want Dominic Koshik in the net. Boom. Here in the story. Not over. Give him or Grant Fuhrer. What about Jim he, Craig? Give him or Grant Fuhrer. Grant Fuhrer. <laughs> Grant Fuhrer. I mean, how do you not mention Grant Fuhrer's name in that conversation? Like, it's almost insulting of me not even to mention his name in the top three. It's probably but Grant Fuhrer. I, I watched Koshik play. Dominic Koshik is the guy I'm calling. Very athletic. Koshik. Yeah. Miracle on Ice, Jim Craig. I mean, Marty. What are we talking about here? He That's can't you want. play with Carey Price. It's Marty, Carey bro. Price it's Marty. Hold on. Hold on, guys. It's guys. Tommy Barrasso. I'm Hold sick on. of the combo. Carey Price. Mark Carey andre Price. Fleury in his prime. Math, sure. Jonathan Quick. Carey Price is there. Carey Price is in that conversation 100%. I mean, I Thank did you. that, but I picked three goaltenders that have Stanley Cups, too. Like, I can't. You know what I mean? I mean, as much as Pricey loves me. If he says I'm the best defenseman ever, I think some people are going to look at him and say, hey, dude, like, you got other defensemen here who got crazy points, eight Norris's, and Stanley Cups. Like, you got to put those guys first. Hey, you right? got to stop smoking yeah. that Epsom salt. Yeah, yeah. it's bullshit. People are starting to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the stuff I'm using. So if you don't like what I'm saying, don't use it. I, I just to kind of put a whole, you know, bow on this entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're still in that hot tub right now. <laughs> You're still in that. Dude, I go 45 minutes, 45 minute minimum. 90 minute soap. massage. Minimum. 45 yeah. minute hot tub. Okay, that's, that's two hours hydrate. and 15 minutes out of what, your day. What did you do when you were playing? What do you do on the road? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did this when I was playing too. Dude, that's what people don't understand. Everybody thinks being a pro athlete is like you show up in a nice suit, you drink a coffee, you jump out there mm -hmm. and you play. Like, you got to get your body prepared, especially the way that I played. I wanted to kill everybody that came down my side. So I put my body on the line. You got to manage it. Epsom salt bath, massage, activation, deep core breathing, acupuncture stem, ART, all of that stuff, man. Come on, man. Hey, hey, TRT. Yeah. TRT. All right. Um, TRT. Can we do some of the breathing right now? Can we do some of the breathing right now? What do we do? You, you, you got to lead us. You got to lead us. Close your diaphragm. Close it. You got to close it. Tuck it. Mm -hmm. And let that balloon expand. Now, release it all. I want your stomach to touch your spine when you release it. Pull that stomach all the way in. Focus, AJ. 
I just saw the. Out my nose mouth. or out of my mouth? Ah, oh, that's bad. In through your nose, one more time. It's hard to breathe through my nose. I need one of those breathe right strips. I'm yeah, getting mucinex right now. Now let it out. We're doing box now, breathing? Here's for the guys. This sucks. Be an asshole, I'm gonna say this because I know I'm on national television. I can't. You're not. You gotta. You gotta pull your buddies up as you do this. If you know what I mean, pull them up. Your balls. Right. You got pull yeah. them up. Yeah. Nugget. Pull your. How? Pull your, Eagle. You don't have to pull your meat up, but your you're hands? too veg. You're too <laughs> veg. Pull those up. Mm -hmm. Just like Drake. <sighs> He was don't, spinning don't, it. He was pulling don't it. Don't be swapping that thing. Now let it hang. I'll let it hang. Oh, hang. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. The there you go, boys. All right. That was good. Yeah. First time we've ever uh, been a part of How much of more time like you this. got in there? Um, I got now, I got five more minutes. Remember, I got in here. I got in here about 2.15, yeah. so I got about Remember. four minutes. PK, you're one on one, huh, pal? <laughs> One of one, dude. I'm all in. I'm just dialed into what I got to do. So I love coming on this show. Like, honestly, how does it feel, though? Like, you got the be your best show on TV right now for sports. You get to wear whatever you want, talk about whatever Maybe. you want. Yep. You're doing it with your buddies. Bud. Like, what a treat. Seriously. We're, we're very lucky. I mean, we're not the best in all that stuff, but we have a good time every day. Did not expect to be speaking to a naked P.K. Subano. I mean, that's something we well, know. Well, you know first. what, Pat? Honestly, I pushed the envelope a little bit, and I got to be honest. I've never met you in, in person, so I can't say that we're friends, but I'm naked in an Epsom salt bath right now. This is the closest we've ever been, <laughs> so I'd like to consider you at least acquaintance. You know, I'd like to at least be like, yeah, you know, that's an acquaintance of mine. Yeah, I mean, if we're not friends at this point, you know, I don't know what's next. You know, yeah. might, might have to do this in the same room together. You ever yeah. get in there with other people? Any, anyone else ever come in there with you? You know what, guys? Hey, AJ. You know what? Um, it's it's never it's rarely ever gridlock in this tub. There's been a few <laughs> times I've had a couple of visitors, but it's I'm usually in the clear. You know what I mean? <laughs> nice. There's definitely never been any other dudes in here with me. I, I can say that flat out. I just I like my own space. You know, that's let's not go. We don't need to get hey, into all that. Hey, I'm good if I was, by the way. Yeah. Well, hey, you guys yeah, really really do, it. It's just not my thing. That's yeah, I not mean, my thing. I'm if hurt. somebody has two hours and fifteen minutes to spend every <laughs> single day <laughs> yep. getting a massage. A massage and then a hot tub yeah. after a workout in an hour on the treadmill. With my, I mean, PK, you might be peak male for the next, yeah. what, 60 years. There's nobody committing their life to their body like you are. I want to let you know that. Why Why wouldn't you, if you retired at 33 years old, why wouldn't you want to be in the best shape of your life at 70? Thank That's you. my goal, okay. to be in the best shape of my life at 70. What? Period. End of story. So why not? How many, we could do the math, six days a week, so that's one so 52 minus 365 is what? 313, 313 yeah. times 30, wow. 30. 47, 37. Just make it 40 to make an even number. 313 so, times 40 is 12,000? Or is it 120,000? Is it 120? No, no it's got to be 12,000. 12, Sundays off. 12,520. 12, yeah. 12, Sundays are off. Seven. Sundays off. Yeah. By the time you're 70, oh, you're going to be through 12,520 massages. Atta, baby. Let's you better go, be in the best PK. shape. Jeez. We're going to need you. Still working out the rock? No, you know what? Um, DJ, you know what? I haven't texted him, to be honest with you. I don't even know if he has the same number. I used to have his number. You know, with people like the rock, they're so big. I have such an appreciation for him. Read his book. I was a big fan. Like, I just try to leave people the hell alone. You know what I mean? I got a chance to do it with him once. The guy's busy. He's got a family. The last thing he's thinking about is sculpting his guns with me. You know what I mean? I don't know he's, not, he's not thinking about that. I think he could potentially learn from you with your yeah. daily routine. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they talk about, like, Mark Wahlberg's daily routine. PK, you were getting after it with Rock. I mean, he looked at oh, your back yeah. right there, and he was like, this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. We need to start yeah, doing his more. Bicep. His hey. bicep is about the width of my back. So, you know. Hair um, looks great. How long ago is this? Tight. This was a couple years ago, actually. This would have been, I think it was like maybe 2016, 2017. It's almost a so, decade ago now, PK. But you have an age yeah. a single bit. You know why? Because that deep breathing. Darker, darker the very sweet of the juice. That's what top Tupac said. <laughs> Damn right. So I don't know what that means. I'll let our viewers and everybody figure that out. Well, I think what it means yeah. is uh, I'm aging like a raisin. And uh, I think that is kind of how it goes. You know, he, hey, Usher you know looks what? like he's 21 years old. Absurd.
Yeah. Usher looked like he was 21. He also got married Dude, on Sunday. Did you see unbelievable that? Unbelievable performance. Unbelievable yeah. performance. I watched that show. I, like, And I'm a big Usher guy. Like, nice and slow. Mm. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. dot. I'm in my job, job, moved to the streets. Yeah. I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting on me. Yeah, oh yeah. Right. Listen to me. I was all in on Usher in the performance. We got to give him props. This guy, during my time of growing up, and I knew about him. I had older sisters that listened to him. I shared a bathroom with my sisters till I was 16, so I know all the songs. Okay. I, I love Usher. I just think he's the most one of the most talented artists ever. Um, you know, but I love the show. You know, I think people are being haters. I thought it was a great show. Awesome. People hate on everything these days. I don't know how you can hate on this man, though. Just wrapped up a 45-minute warm Epsom uh, salt bath, mm -hmm. which followed a 90-minute massage, what? which followed boxing, what? cardio, what? and a lift. What? Now he's starting his day. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, P.K. Subban. You're the man. Yeah, P.K. Yeah. 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 Yeah.